Deep in the countryside, beyond the city of Sendai, lies the Kurakoma Valley, a quiet rural district where life still moves to the ageless rhythms of nature. Here where she was born, Ayano Chiba makes indigo dyed hemp cloth as her ancestors did, performing every step of the process from growing the plants to weaving the cloth and dyeing it. Now nearly 90, she still plants her indigo each April and covers it with straw for protection. When the tiny seeds have matured and the leaves are ready to harvest, she'll sun dry and ferment them to create the deep blue dye. In August, she'll strip the hemp and cook the fibers, then spin them into thread. Probably the only one left who performs the entire weaving and dyeing procedure these days. She and her daughter can spin just enough thread to weave four or five bolts of kimono cloth a year. And in Mrs. Chiba's words, that's a lot of thread to weave. A cheerful person by nature, she seems happiest here. Her days at the loom began when she was only 14 years old. These days, she says she awakens at 4 a.m. and just waits for morning's first light so she can begin weaving. Mrs. Chiba weaves throughout the year. Dyeing is done in summer. As a girl, she watched her parents and grandparents use indigo. But she did not begin to dye cloth until she was 34. Today, her 60-year-old daughter is her apprentice, and her great-great-grandson watches them. The cloth is dipped time and again to absorb the deep blue indigo. Then, four generations join Mrs. Chiba at the river to rinse the cloth, as it has been done since time beyond memory. 